It's summertime. And you know what summertime means. Frog fishing. Frog fishing. Frog fishing. Pretty sweet. So let's talk frogs. And when I'm talking about topwater frogs, I'm really talking about hollow bodied frogs, meaning they're hollow, they're squishy, they float on top. Most of them have two hooks like this. How do you store your frogs? I've gone round and round, big boxes, small boxes, medium boxes. And what I've kind of settled on is I like these Plano boxes here. This is a pretty good size and you can really have one box this size in your boat and it'll pretty much cover everything you possibly need. So just kind of give you an idea here. This has really every frog I might want to take with me on the water just in this one box, which is nice. But if I'm going even smaller, like out on my kayak, and I don't want, I know I'm not gonna use 30 frogs in one day anyway, I'll go with like one of these waterproof Plano boxes. These will hold five or six frogs easy, and they're also waterproof, so you don't have to worry about rusting your hooks. So that's an option as well. I've also used the big 3700 boxes, but I don't, I don't really need a box that big. I'd rather have smaller boxes with different, different kind of options. What I'm going to do today is just show you the frogs that are in my collection and talk about uh, the brands that I like and that I use. And there's a ton of other brands out there. I mean, almost every tackle company makes some sort of a frog. But I've got a handful that I kind of use over and over again that I like a lot. And I'm just going to start by showing you those, showing you which ones excite me the most. First one we're going to start with is the Live Target Frogs. And uh, this is one of my favorite frogs out there. And this is the um, three-quarter ounce. It's two and five-eighths inches long. So about two and a half inches long. This is by far my favorite frog, but um, what I mean by favorite, it's my favorite all around frog. There's other frogs that I have that are my favorite frog for very specific things. So let's take a look first at uh, my live target frogs. Okay, so this is a sampling of the live target frogs that I use day in and day out. One of the things I love about um, the live target frog is they look lifelike. They look very real. They've got realistic patterns on them. They've got realistic looking eyes. They're just beautiful frogs really. And so I, I like them a lot. Now, the back side of the frogs, of course, are the most beautiful parts. And the frog and the fish never see this, do they? No. This is really for the fishermen. This is what the fish see. They just see the underbelly. And you can see that my live target collection, for the most part, is white. That being said, a little bit of yellow I think helps at times, and I think a black is important as well. I don't know where my black live target frog is, but I've got one that's all black. But they really are great fish catching frogs. And um, they just hold up really well. You can see this one, I've probably caught more fish on this yellow one than any. I gotta, I'm gonna need some new legs. Live target also makes these sunfish which are a, a, a good a good bait in the spawn uh, to fish this over beds looks like a dying a dying uh, bluegill or crappie 
and but but it's really a topwater frog. If you notice, it's got the same hooks. It's hollow body. It really works the same way. It's just uh, a fish on its side, and uh, it will attract some good bites at times. White frogs, I think, are critical. You definitely need a white. You need a black. And you could probably get away with just a white and a black if, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on frogs. But I like a yellow and a brown as well. And you'll see on most of my frogs that, that I like, those are kind of the colors I stick with. Next frog up is the Lunker Hunt Lunker Frog. Very lifelike, realistic looking. It has real legs instead of the skirted legs and it's an excellent hollow body frog and let me show you my collection of lunker hunt lunker frogs so here they are um, i just showed you this one i've got a few in the box like that but like i said they're very lifelike got great patterns, great colors, very realistic eyes, lifelike legs, and as you, these legs actually move, you know, as you're twitching the bait. It's a, a, a just a great frog, gets you a lot of bites. This, of course, is a blue, is a, uh, um, a bullfrog sort of color, which is very lifelike. This red is interesting, a very interesting lifelike pattern as well. I couldn't help myself on that one. White, of course, a critical color. Black, and this is all black. Great frog. Then I got a couple of really cool looking popping frogs. And when you're talking hollow body frogs, I really believe you need both. You need regular frogs and you need popping frogs with this cupped concave lip that will really give you some gurgling action. So this one looks cool on the top, but really it's a black frog, right? Black frog with white legs. Kind of cool. And here's another cool one. You know, this is more of an exotic looking frog really i really like the colors of this one bright red lip but it's really white that's what the front the fish are going to see very nice and then lunker hunt also makes these rats it's called a yappa rat and it's supposed to be able to walk the dog well with this big honking cup on it these aren't hard though they're soft but interesting, you know, just another topwater frog basically made to look like a rat. I have not fished this rat yet, so I'm not sure how well this yappa works, but thought I'd try one out. So that's the Lunker Hunt collection. Okay, you absolutely cannot talk about frog fishing without mentioning the Spro Bronze Eye Frog. Dean Rojas made this famous, and it's an excellent frog uh, for sure. So these are most of my Spro frogs. And this frog here, of course, is this one. And this looks brown, right? And I would call this a brown frog. They call it natural red, but to me that's a brown frog. And in certain parts of the country, brown tends to work really well. Of course, I like a yellowish frog, so I'm always gonna have a yellowish one. This is another one that uh, I think is the same as the natural red. It's just bigger. This is the 65. And this would be the next size up, which at the moment I can't think of what that's called. Then I've got really uh, 
kind of a shad colored belly. It's more like a pearl with some yellow on it. And one thing to keep in mind that frogs obviously mimic frogs, but they also mimic, mimic bait fish, which is why at times it's good to have a shad colored frog along with uh, bluegill colors and that kind of stuff. So here's a black, got a little blue on it, but for the most part, I consider that to be black. And then this is another yellowish one, but it's got some blue in the legs. And then here's the bigger, bigger, bigger size. And I don't throw this very much, to tell you the truth, but they make some pretty big ones if you want to go big. So that's kind of their regular standard hollow body frogs. They also make even littler sizes. This is the only one I have this small. And I've lost my legs on it. i got to replace the legs. But sometimes if they're keying in on smaller bait fish or smaller frogs, you may want to go a little smaller. All right, then they're popping frogs. I think Spro makes, this is the bronze eye popping frog, and I really think Spro makes some of the very best popping frogs out there. I can't tell you how many fish I've caught on these popping frogs. They are fantastic. And if I was only going to have one popping frog, it would definitely be the Spro frog. That's my own personal preference. But I got a green, which is really yellow, black with red, black with a little yellow, all black, and white. And as I said before, if you can only have two colors, I'd go with black and white. If you can only have one, I'd go with black. That's just me personally. I love the Spro Frogs, and you will too. Next up is the tried and true snag proof frog. And snag proof, they have owner hooks, they have great components. They're not as big on detail compared to like the Lunker Hunt or the Live Target but they still are just flat out fish catching machines. So here are my snag proof frogs and I don't have as many snag proof as maybe I have other brands, but don't let that fool you. I absolutely love snag proof frogs and I think they're fantastic. And I'm gonna start with what is probably my favorite frog of all frogs and it's this one here. It's called the Bobby's Perfect Frog, and that's a, a used one, and this is a brand new one, what they look like brand new out of the package. And this frog is a fish catching machine. I love it. It's just great. I've caught so many fish on it, I can't even begin to tell you how many. It's the real deal. If you're, if you're only wanting to get yourself one frog, this is the one to get. So you've got that, and then there's a couple other versions. This is pretty much the same frog, but it doesn't have uh, legs. And this is made, I think this was made for the guys out in the Delta in areas where legs just kind of get in the way and get tangled up in, in uh, weeds or other tulies or stuff <clears throat> I'm guessing I'm not sure for sure but there are times when I um, would rather not have the legs get in the way either so I've got a few of these this is a green one a black one and more of a bullfrog color but it's really greens what the fish see then here is the same frog also, but it's got flappers, kickers on it. This is called the bass kicker frog. And of course that's gonna make a lot of commotion in the water. And then they have a popping frog too. I think this is called the poppin' fatty or something. Ish Monroe designed it. It's got a, a cup here 
and a cup there. I got a black one and a white one. And it pops, you know, it, it's a decent frog for sure. But that's the Snag Proof Collection. Great frogs, they really are. They're, they're old, reliable, tried and true frogs. Not super sexy. Um, you know, look at this, the patterns. It's not a lifelike pattern at all. But it doesn't matter. It will catch them. So Bobby's Perfect Frog, definitely a game changer. The Scum Frog. And without question, the Scum Frog, no frills, no detail, no, they don't care about lifelike looks, right? They're just a soft, hollow-bodied frog that's made to, in the shape of a frog. That's it. So let's take a look at these. Scum frog. They're pretty awesome. There's nothing fancy about them. I mean, look, this is as fancy as it gets, and all this is just a a printed design on it. They're basic, mostly solid colors. No, no legs, no, no warts, no details. In fact, these eyes are just stickers. That's all they are is stickers on the eyes but they catch fish they've got a really nice action to them they're the softest most pliable frog i have they're super soft so getting uh the fish to get into the hook no problem with these and uh scum frogs been around a long time they work so i've got a couple of whites different sizes a little one and a bigger one I got my yellow, white with some green on it, uh, blacks of course, a bullfroggy color, kind of. I mean, it's really just got some red, red and black flake on it. Kind of a lemony, more of a chartreuse green, kind of a dark green. Then I got some kicker frogs. These are both the same, but they got the kicker legs. And then I have these, these are both the same frog, one with a long, uh, short legs I've cut back. And I do tend to cut, trim my legs. I just like shorter legs. But most of your hollow body frogs come with really long legs. And then you can trim them however you want to trim them. But these are different in their shape. You can see it's kind of got a keel on it. And these are made um, you know, there, there's different times when you might want more of a keel weighted frog. This is going to be one that, that you would tend to walk through the water like a, like a walking bait more than you would these very flat scum frogs. Uh, so there's those. And then <clears throat> this is their popper, a version of their popper. You can see it's small. It's really an odd shape, um, but they, they've they kind of got it right on the legs. They've cut the legs way down. All right, now I have uh, those. That's kind of my frog arsenal, my day-to-day, -day, if you will. Those are the frogs I'm going to go to on a daily basis when I'm frog fishing nine times out of ten. But I also have uh, some other frogs that I use occasionally. I don't have a ton of these. But I, but I have a few, and, and I'll just uh, show those to you really quick. Um, <clears throat> first is this Teckle. The Teckle Sprinker Frog. And you may have got on this craze a couple years ago. It, uh, it has a tail on it that spins in the water as you're, and it really creates some commotion. And when these first came out, man, they were winning tournaments and they were just crazy how good these things were, were doing. And I still like them quite a bit, but they're, there's not, uh, this is not going to be an everyday sort of frog. It's just certain times. 
So I've got this white one and then I've got a black as well. And, and, uh, these are, these are definitely good specialty, specialty frogs. So that's the tickle. You can also replace the, uh, the paddle on it because they wear out fish destroy those. Another frog that uh, I use periodically is made by River to Sea and it's called the Poppin' Wah. And if you notice, it has an enormous popping cup. It's got two holes on the sides. If I can get it where you can see it. It makes a pretty big bubbly gurgling popping commotion. And I do like it uh, during certain times. So it's a very big profile. It's a big frog and it pops really quite well. There's a great video by uh, Tactical Bass and Guys, if you go look at their channel, where they're fishing with these popping waws and just slaying them. So I got a yellow one, I got a black one, and then I got a white one. And this white one has some chartreuse in the legs. And you know, they're pretty lifelike. I mean, they got some prominent eyes and things. They got great hooks on them. So the Poppin' Wah is not a bad frog. It's definitely not my daily driver for sure. Okay, then I have uh, a couple of other kind of miscellaneous things that are kind of, they fall into the frog category, but they're, they're kind of not frogs. I got another mouse here or a rat. Uh, this one I think might be a spro. I don't know for sure though. And then I've got uh, Strike King makes this thing called the Pop and Perch. And they make all kinds of frogs as well, but I don't really throw the Strike King frogs. But these were on sale, and this color I think intrigues me. It's called uh, Shad Spawn, and that's exactly what I would use it for the Shad Spawn. It's definitely not a perch, you know, uh, it's a popping bait, but it's called the Poppin' Perch. And you can see they just draw a fish pattern on here. And I think during the shad spawn or over beds, uh, anytime when you're, when you're on a topwater bait fish bite, this popping perch looks good to me. So there's that. And then I've got, I got this uh, chase baits. It's called the Big Wiggle Bomb. I got this in one of my uh, Monster Bass monthly boxes. And I haven't tried it yet. And unfortunately, I've already broke the tail off. I didn't break it, but I put it with some other plastics and it melted. But it did have a kind of a squiggly tail on there. And it's got a weight inside of it. And it's made to kind of pop along pads or something and then let it fall. Um, it's super soft and pliable. This is a real natural looking frog. I, I think this is going to be really good. But I... I don't know for sure. And then I got this little frog and it doesn't have uh, um, skirted legs. It's got these little twirly legs. It's a little bitty soft bodied frog that I also got in a Lucky Tackle Box or something. It's got a little popping cup on it and it looks intriguing, uh, but I've not tried it yet. So does that cover everything? I've also got these River to Sea diver frogs. This is not a hollow bodied frog though. It's a hard bodied frog. And this cup is made, you're supposed to be able to fish it and then it dives. And I've never had much luck with this thing, but uh, I don't know. If you have and you think it's good stuff, let me know. You can replace the legs on it. It's uh it's got a single hook on the back, which is different. Um, I don't know. It's not, it's definitely not something I use on a regular basis. But that kind of wraps up my frog collection. And um, frog fishing is so much fun. It's a fantastic way to fish. I encourage you, take advantage and go out and get yourself some hollow bodied frogs. Go get you a Bobby's Perfect Frog or one of these Spro frogs or uh, live target frogs and go to it. You're going to have a great time. 
if you've never fished them before, you need stout rods. You're going to need a heavy, a heavy rod. Longer is better because it can give you an opportunity to cast far and give you more leverage. Um, you don't have to have long if you've only got shorter rods, but you need some heavy rods because you're almost always gonna fish these around cover. You can fish them in open water, but they're not nearly as effective. They will catch fish in open water, but you're gonna be around cover. So you need heavy rods, braided line. Hope you enjoy that. If you did, please subscribe to my videos, uh, share them. I'd greatly appreciate that. Hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, happy fishing.